Hi, welcome to Winging It with Huda, the Ramadan series. Today I'm going to show you a nice little traditional, yes, addition to your iftar. It's Gibbeneye, and if anything that the Lebanese are known by, it is our raw meat. It's like a steak tartare, if you like. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the ground beef. It's not your average mince, it's actually ground finer than that, almost like paste-like. You don't really have to worry about it though, because if you head into Abu Ahmad Butchery, you can actually get yourself the meat for the kibbid and they've got it ready for you, individually portioned, ready to go. So first up, we want to make the paste and it looks like there's a lot of things and look yes it's the spices once you break it down there are several spices but if you are a bit organized and you get everything measured out i guarantee it is super simple so we're going to start with our onions first add some capsicum now i do have a bit of fresh mint here dry basil mint Dried marjoram. Rose petals gives it that little bit of perfume in the background that the kamuni requires. So not every region uses this. Some do, some don't. We do, so I'm going to add that in. That's our herbs done, and we're going to move on to our spices. And I've got a mixture of extra ground cinnamon, some ground black pepper, some chili, ground chili, sweet paprika. The Lebanese seven spice mix with just a hint of salt. As I said, it does look like a lot, but really it is super quick. Ready to process and puree. I'm just going to check in on that and just scrape down the side. You can already smell the delicious herbs and spices, oh my God. So flavorful. And that's all there is to it. You just need a paste like this, and we're now ready to mix. Okay, what we wanna do now, because I like to simplify my processes and help you guys along as well, is I'm going to empty my paste, and then I'm going to add my birgul, or crushed wheat that has been washed, and just give that a nice mix. Now typically, you would put your meat, put the virgul, put the uh, paste, but I'm doing it this way because I'm going to show you a few different ways on how to serve this up. Alright, so if we get some of our meat, now you'll notice I've got a bit of ice cold water next to me. We might need to add some water as we're mixing this in. So basically, I've got meat there and I'm going to put a bit of the virgul and spice the kamuni basically. And then we're just going to mix it through and knead it. So you're looking for this look. It, you can add more, but I think this is just as good. So get our serving plate straight onto our plate. And what you wanna do is just try and pretty it up. Now this is awesome for share style, as I said, it's, it's one of those staple meals in the Middle Eastern and particularly the Lebanese cuisine. So we're gonna grab a fork and we're just going to make a few little grooves because that's where our beautiful extra virgin olive oil is gonna seep through. So I want to serve this just with a bit of added freshness. Now typically we eat this with Lebanese bread, it's got olive oil, We've got a beautiful board of fresh veggies. I want to incorporate that on the plate as well. Just a rough chop. You don't have to be all prim and proper with this because this is rustic. It's share style. And you know what? It's just for the whole family to enjoy. So place it onto the kibbeneye. Now this is not traditional, so that's okay. You can steer clear a little bit from traditional. And then I want to add some fresh radishes to that. I want to put a few little bits of red vein sorrel, some lemon balm. The final touch to the dish is the generous drizzling of extra virgin olive oil. 
because it definitely needs that ready for the family to enjoy okay so the second way to plate this up is what we call frake which is like little morsels of the kibbene here and it's a slightly firmer so you want more uh, of the bitterful mixture in this we're now ready to mold these into a little morsel so what you want to do with frake is you want to get a little handful of the meat and basically indent the meat or the morsel of the meat uh, to have a little shape like this. So with frake it's the same thing, it's just a bit firmer. Uh, a bit more dry, if that makes sense. So you add extra of the brul in there, crushed wheat. Now it's really up to you how you want to serve it. Traditionally, it's like this, veggies, extra virgin olive oil, but I'm also going to serve this up with a bit of fattouche in the middle because I love salads and frake, it's my favorite. And a nice healthy drizzling, again, of extra virgin olive oil. All over the frake, and then it is plate two. The third and final way I'm going to show you how to plate kibbeneye, or this one's called lahme madu'a, which just means pounded meat, because that's traditionally how they used to make this kibbeneye. You grab the meat on its own. I've got a little bit of a, a little mold, because I want to mold the shape. So you, you can do this free form, so don't stress too much. Just get it in there, pat it down carefully. Try and demold it. And you have your kamune straight on top. Gonna add some radish. And the final touches is a little bit of lemon balm, micro herb. And that is my kibbeneye served in three different ways. Thank you.